and like the life preserver is screaming at me, I can see it with this life preserver and the read these symbols, okay, the life preserver, remember, everlasting life. You see that? You gotta get yep. to that tree yep. for your everlasting life. Life preserver. Do you hear those words? The four rivers that feed into that hole, okay? This is right there. It's all hiding in plain sight. The life preserver, the reef, okay? It's, it says it all right there. Um, the prize is at the center of the dish. And the only way we're going to get there is when everybody's united side by side, you know, like we're family. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Is, like, yeah, yeah. It's all come back to me now. What, what I said yeah. about Polaris, I asked you if you thought that that could be the exit hole. Or something, I don't know. I can't remember. Not, you need to get, that's a parabolic mirror up there. It's right, reflecting yeah. the whole one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Polaris, uh, the way I see it is Polaris could be right above that hole at the center of the dish. And it's telling you something. That What I'm saying is that there's a dome up there. You need to go into that hole at the center of the dish to get out of here. So Polaris could be right over that hole where we need to be. And that's... Why you see strippers at a pole and they spin around, they do the their legs and they hang on, they do all kinds of crazy spinning, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. an accident? Yeah. All these things are set up exactly the way they are. Police with donuts and stuff, police <laughs> with a checkerboard on their head. The donuts are telling you that hole at the center of the dish. <coughs> yeah, yeah, just, just want to offer the floor to Martin. Martin, do you have any questions quick before Mark has to leave? Martin, I do. <laughs> hey, you you. hey, far away, Alan. Yeah, no, I just took some notes. I mean, you get a lot of people thinking, Quas. I um, uh, people in chat had some questions. I got a quick two-part here. I think you answered it last time, but if you want to go over it, because there's some new people in chat. So the first part from V Tommy, how do we get to the center? And Monica says, what happens when we get to the center? Okay, listen, once you get past the 65th parallel, uh, uh, there's a time of the year where you can actually see the sun going around for three days straight, three entire days. The camera follows it going around, 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 around. You can see the videos on YouTube. That's the 65th parallel, then the 69th parallel. If you keep going in that direction, there's a hole called the Holy of Holies where the transaction, where the deed is happening, where the light goes into the hole, the candy cane showing you. Like on the wreath, they're showing you the two red. They're showing you that that there's a hole there that we need to get into. Once you go into that hole, I'm 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 pretty certain that the time we're going to want to go there would be the time of year when the sun is closest to the inner part of the dish because it spirals inward and then it spirals back outward, bringing the seasons. So when when it's summertime up there, that's the time that we would want to go towards that that hole and. Um, What I'm saying to you is that the only way we're going to get there, you can't go there by yourself. You're going to need a whole bunch of people behind you together yeah. with the right state of mind. Because yeah. uh, it, it's like for you to try and go by yourself, they would detain you or something like that. It's got to be that there's uh, enough people going there and that nobody can stop it. It's got to be that uh, that it's a migration that's happening. You know what I'm saying? We're all migrating to this place. That's yeah, how it needs, needs to be on the mass. So yeah. to summarize, to summarize, when there's enough of us, when there's enough of us, we're all gonna go, and then when we get there, we jump in the hole. <laughs> every compass points to it. I'm telling you, every compass is pointing to, like cool, this man. one over here, has the tree of life on this one, and this one has like the candy cane. So yeah, it's, man. It's showing I got, you. I got, I got another question. I got one from Chuck. Chuck says, should we trust our third eye because he saw a video of yours that said our bodies are corrupt? Should we trust our third eye? Listen, you need to get back to your heart through selfless acts of kindness. Your third eye, yes. this whole thing about the third eye, you understand something. The only way to get that is through your heart because your source of self is your heart. If you look at any chakra chart, they show you the hex over your heart. So your source of self is your heart. If you want to get eyes to see, it's through gratitude. And like I mentioned in a previous video with you guys, when I say goddess worship, let me tell you what this means. Okay? When you see your wife and... You don't yell at her about anything, you, your grandma, your mom, whatever, you, you help them out, you clean up, you do everything. I make sure I bow down to women. I, I, oh, I lay it on thick, okay? I lay it on thick because uh, I know if I lay it on thick, then they'll, it'll rub off 
on them, and then they'll do it to other people. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I try and lay on, you know, the around the, the women around me. It doesn't matter if you're my neighbor or whatever. I'm there to help you. I just it's I'm there to help everybody. But the point I'm trying to make is that the the divine feminine principle is coming back. Obviously, that's why we can see all this stuff. It's because we're being we're it's like we're being drawn home at this point. It's like we're being called home. That's what it feels like to me. So yeah. it's like this divine principle of the feminine is back. And back to the morals, yes. What I'm saying is she's watching. I know she's watching because every time I give out this information and I publish it, I somehow get smarter and more eyes to see even deeper. It's because it's like they, you get a little bit. The feminine wants to see what you're doing with that knowledge. If you're doing something, it gives you a little bit more. And, and then you're here you are. I'm only two and a half years past... Uh, it was 12 24 2013 where I published that video of Blood Over Intent. That's two and a half revolutions is where I'm at now. This Christmas coming up will be three years since I spilled my blood. And you can see, I, I, before two years, I was pointing to the way out. I've been pointing the way out for like six months now. The point I'm trying to make is that that is fast. That's fast. But who would have thought? Way back then, if I had done this, that I would be pointing to the way out. I was a round earther back then. I didn't believe in flat earth. Uh, it was shortly after that. I remember hearing them say it was a holographic reality, and I looked into holograms, and I see holograms are flat. They look three-dimensional, okay, that you could dive in there, but they're actually flat like a piece of paper, see? So it looks three-dimensional like you can get in there. So the point I'm trying to make is that really short time, I went from – a round earther as an accident floating through space to now knowing we're the center of the universe and that where to go and why cops eat donuts and why a lifesaver is a lifesaver and why she was in a flaming asshole. It's like the eyes to see came from, from that. So what I'm saying to you is that that's a, a sure way to raise your frequency by placing your written word down on something that's not about you. It's about the benefit of everybody. That was the key thing. So if you really want the eyes to see like I have, that's all I did. I did nothing special. I just wrote on a piece of paper, I intend to usher in heaven and earth. I intend to work false good on I put my blood on it, published a video to the Ethernet, and it turns out you have air, you have the earth, air, fire, water as the four elements, but then there's the secret element, which is the ether. So the Ethernet somehow is connected to the whole universe because uh, it's like, like I said, it's like I'm rewired now to see everything, so nothing can be hidden to me. So that I can get my people home to the center of the dish. It's like I became a piece or an extension of our creator. And um, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat because you don't see anybody else talking about this type of stuff, do you? No, nope, nobody. No. That makes this kind of neat then. Because it's like I'm decoding everything now. And you can see it also. It's like everything, all these different symbols, now they all make, they are all pointing to the same thing. Do you see it? Well, I do touch on a couple things that are similar to what you're saying. I have to actually uh, pay a little bit more attention uh, to your videos now, actually, because um, a lot of analogies I have are very darn close to yours. Like, here, just an example. Say you're walking down the street, okay? A total stranger is coming the other way, and you just decide just for the hell of it, hey, what's up? You know, a big smile and a big wave. The guy's going to go off with that feeling, probably do it to somebody else, and then in turn somebody else, somebody else. Eventually, you're walking down the street a couple of weeks later, and somebody, just for the hell of it, waves and says, "Hey, what's up, man?" Just like that, and then you wonder yourself, "Wait, wait a minute, did I influence that? You know, it's it, are we really connected that way? I think so. You know, it, it's it's yeah. Anyway, what do you think? When people do on others. You know, are you talking about just I'm nice to people and wave at people and all that stuff too. I don't run up to people and start telling them about flat earth or anything. I just you, I use that. I do that through videos now. Okay, well, me, okay. I, I'm not looking. Yeah. Look, I don't have a band or anything. If I had a band, I'd make songs about flat earth or something like that. You know. Uh, uh, I can explain. I, I can elaborate a little bit more. Let me see. Okay. In so other words, they feel like uh, I gotta cut out. But listen, oh, okay. uh, I'll watch this video as soon as I get back. How long are you guys gonna go on for tonight? Don't know. Uh, I don't know. We could try and carry on, I suppose, yeah. <clears throat> um, listen, like I said, I was hoping we, you and me, Gavin, would do like a 20-minute video and then tomorrow open it up for the other people or, and then I'd have more time. You know what I mean? Uh, Be good. Hey, we can we can cut it now and come back tomorrow, you know? If, if that's what you'd like to do, that's fine. 
Sure, it'll give me time to actually pick up a little bit more on your video. Done. <laughs> Forgive me. I promised my wife I said I wouldn't go later than 8, and it's 8.08 now. Um, hey, would, no worries, Mark. Look, if you have to go, mate. I got to get to my wife right now, because, uh, again, it's 8.08 on the money right now. Remember 8.08? That's like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and he's, uh, I will give tomorrow, if, if you want to pick up tomorrow at 6, 7, what time? Gavin, you should uh, email me that. Just yeah, we'll do, the, we'll do the same again at 7 if you want. Yeah, right. that's fine. I appreciate you guys. Sorry I didn't have more time. I, I appreciate you. Hey, well, no worries. Just get, uh, get more acquainted with your videos and ask you a little bit more detailed question tomorrow. Tomorrow, I won't be in a rush. I'll make sure I have two hours tomorrow for sure, okay? Perfect. Awesome. Thanks again. All right. Thanks Take again. care, guys. Thanks very much, Mark. Cheers. Hey. Martin, Martin, what have you got to say about it, mate? Oh, mic issues again. <laughs> Your internet's broken, man. Brother. Hey. hey. You switched oh, me off. I no. switched me on. You switched me off. Um, I got so many fucking questions. I just burst in with questions for that, man. Mm, so many. Awesome, awesome. Um, look, um, oh. you jotted some down, Martin. He's, he's, oh, I will be back. I got a paper full, yeah. There's so many questions, so many un unanswered questions that I have. I understand the primaries, the as above, down below. I've always known that. And the awakening, obviously, he's getting it a bit beyond us. He's connected to Mother Nature and she's giving him messages. There is a way off, and this is what we're all looking for. And who's to say? What he doesn't know. Yeah, that's fair enough. You know, we don't know if he's right or wrong. Well, I mean, he's more good as good as anyone else is. I, I like it. He's coming from yeah. um, the perspective of unity, and uh, the bit I don't understand. What I asked him when he's on about the blood, um, he's not. He's not actually emphasised. That's what I asked him when he spilled blood. What does he mean? Does he mean symbolically, or does he mean he gassed his blood on a piece of paper? What's right in his intent? He's literally. Yeah, literal uh, blood. Yeah, it's literally. Literal. Means it literally. Literally. Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, right, guys, 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 I'm gonna cut it here. Yeah, I'm gonna mm -hmm. end it here. All, All right. right, brother, Gav, you lovely blood, mate. Hey, look, stay on and we can talk. We no, maybe so. I, 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 I fucking pull out off just to come and catch you for a bit, brother. I was all in a mess, and I, I can't explain this. It's just shit, you know, family crap, and anyway. All right, you lot, no worries, bro. Awesome. Thank you Alan, very much. love you, Sips, your brother. I added you, Sips, all right, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, we'll get soon, bro. I got more time. I'm sorry. No problem. Okay, then, guys. Uh, to everyone in the chat and everyone who's going to watch this in the future, thank you very much yeah. for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with Quasi Luminous at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Mm -hmm. uh, until then, don't forget the globe is a lie. <laughs>